Hello. Well, see, the camera's there and the microphone's there. Uh, hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 13th, 2018. It's almost 8 a.m. Uh, my daughter, Hillary, is going to be driving me here in a couple hours over to my doctor's office, and they're just going to draw blood for the lab work because I have an appointment in one week at the uh, doctor's office. Uh, I'm taking my uh, new medication. I made a video on that, I think, last night or yesterday. And I've taken now uh, two of them. That means there's nine more days to go. My nine more days of nausea and diarrhea um, man, I tell you, never get old. Uh, need to take my morning medicine, but not my diabetes medicine because uh, I haven't taken that in a while because it's not supposed to, it messes, it's not compatible. And I think we're going to, you know, I pay me in a week's time when I see my doctor, I, they may change me to, uh, uh, a new diabetic medication and then hopefully in about a week's time when I see the doctor hopefully I'll be done with my uh, uh, the medicine that I'm taking now If you've watched my videos, you know I'm a, or I was a Coke drinker. I'm giving up Coke. The medicine, even when I was off of it for a day and a half, Coke doesn't taste any good. I'm not sure if it's permanently messed up my taste buds or what it's done, but Coke tastes gross anymore. I can't, uh, can't be drinking Coke anymore. So I'm drinking stuff that I guess is healthy, but I'm not sure. With my kidney problems that have popped up, and it, they really haven't got into how much damage is done and how bad my kidneys are, I'm not sure if I'm going to be if I'm putting the uh, right things in me or the wrong things in me for as far as drinking right now. For the nausea, some things are helping a little bit. Uh, Jello, uh, V8 juice, orange juice. Um, I mean, it doesn't it just helps for a very short period of time, but any relief is, uh, it appears to, well, having, uh, well, that'd be like having a watermelon. Um, also, what may help a little bit, it, it appears, is cottage cheese, but I'm not sure. And I, with running a fever, when you run a fever, you're, I don't really think you should be taking dairy products. 98.7. Let's see. So I won't take a Tylenol right now. Uh, um, as you know, I'm not going to keep harping on this subject, but I left the uh, hospital AMA against medical advice the other day. And the consensus of opinion and uh, comments and things or whatever that I that I heard were were was that I heard was that uh, all hospitals uh, when you leave AMA against medical advice that they that's it you go out the door with no paperwork no prescriptions 
uh, the hospital have nothing to do with you. You are a pariah. You're a leper, or whatever. I'll put the link to this. I hope I hope I can shorten it for you. The link, but it's uh, all nurses, a uh, forum or place for them to discuss things for nurses, a nursing forum. And there's a discussion here. Not all hospitals uh, adhere to that uh, that thing. Uh, so there's a discussion going on here back and forth. So you may be interested in it or you may not be interested in it. You know, my, my suggestion, of course, is, and I think maybe everybody's suggestion is, you know, don't, you know, follow your doctor's advice, do what your doctors, you know, what the medical health care providers, uh, you know, are telling you that you need to do. And don't leave the hospital against, or don't, you know, uh, but I told you what my situation was. Well, I'm, I'm, those videos may have been deleted. I deleted a couple of videos. So you may not, but, but that my, that's, uh, I'm not going to go into that again, but I am going to put the link to this underneath and you can read about it. And, uh, if you come up with some ideas or comments or whatever, just, just put them below. Um, I don't like, uh, tablets. I don't like, well, tablets I kind of like, I might like. I don't like laptop computers. I like a desktop computer. Now, I understand, you know, a lot of working people need it. A lot of people, school, you know, people going to school and everything need a laptop computer. I just don't like laptop computers. I don't like doing anything on the cell phone even. I mean, yeah, if I'm out, I mean, there are apps I have on here. My uh, diabetes information I enter in here works out great. And of course, it's also stored, you know, online. And, it, you know, for maps, you know, for finding places and for looking and making phone calls, which I don't make very often. Cell phone is great, but I don't like little tiny devices. Uh, but, and this is a small device too, really. Uh, Microsoft is coming out, I think it's going to be available August something, second or third or something. A Surface Pro, that's a new one. I think this is it. And, uh, except it's a little, okay, I guess this is it, yeah. Because this is the 128 gigabyte uh, version, but uh, now the, you know the keyboard is extra, and I don't want a tiny, I don't want a little tiny one of those you know, type of keyboards. But it's a tablet, and it's uh, Windows. Actually, it comes with Windows S, uh, but. All you have to do is when you get it, if you decide you want Windows 10, uh, home it, whatever, is, you know, is, is you just hit some buttons or whatever, and there you've got it. It also comes with a tab, a uh, pencil for drawing, and I believe it attaches, you know, like magnetically to the side. It's extra, I believe. The keyboard, of course, is extra. The, uh, yeah, here is the, uh, the pen is, you know, extra. Um, I'm thinking about that because, of, well, one reason is my stay in the hospital. Uh, being sick and, well, my, you know, not having much of a, my fingers were sliding over my, over the uh, cell phone and, th and I, I'd like something a little, bigger if I have, I, I, my real hope is that I, you know, I'm 77 years old. I just hope I don't end up in the hospital again. Of course, the, I may end up in the hospital again any, any day here now. Uh, I mean, I'm 77. I'd, I'd like to have, uh, well, you don't have, 
liked to have like three years not going to the hospital and uh, go directly to hospice care or something, you know. Uh, but anyway, this uh, looks uh, looks interesting. The Microsoft Surface Pro. Uh, okay, here it is at um, Best Buy. I really don't recommend buying anything at Best Buy, but uh, here they have it. Now here they're showing it with the keyboard. You know, you don't at, at that price. You're not getting it for three ninety nine. What well, says two items included? Uh, they're not going to see. Microsoft, da 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 da, da. shipping uh, August 2nd, okay, it doesn't, doesn't say what the two items are that are, let's see, included free, internet security uh, device or six month subscription, Best Buy, yeah, okay, you're, you know, Best Buy gift card, fifty dollars or something. So okay, that's that's really misleading, it, you know. But the uh, so that's three ninety nine for a uh, four gigabyte, sixty four uh, a four gigabyte of memory, sixty four gigabyte solid state drive. Now that's uh, three ninety nine. Now here I think is uh, the one I would. Want to go with? I think it's a 10-inch touchscreen, uh, eight gigabytes of memory, 128 gigabytes solid-state drive, and it's $550. Now there again, you do not get the, you do not get the keyboard. You do not get the. Uh, I, I would just add. Well, I would not never add the keyboard. Never add the keyboard. But here you can get the keyboard for $99. Here I guess is a different. Uh, Keyboard you can get, and a different one, and a different one, and then they have a mouse. I guess that well, you know, have some mice, and there's these other things. Here's the pen, and the pen is okay. You have to add it to. Oh wait a minute. Well, here's a pen that's oh different color. So yeah, it looks like the pens are running a hundred dollars. So I would pick up a pen as soon as you know, as soon as I could. Anyway, I will, I'm not sure if I'll put a link, we'll, we'll think about that. And here it is at B&H. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Uh, see, I took my morning medication, I haven't. I'm not taking my blood pressure medicine right now. Uh, the doctor doesn't want me to take it until we figure out about this super med I'm taking until I'm over it, or even maybe, maybe, maybe even then I won't be taking. I then maybe changing my uh, diabetes medicine from I think metformin is what I have been taking, but it seems that it's not recommended in certain cases if you have certain conditions if you're going to have surgery or I don't know or contraindicated against certain other medications or something so but anyway today I'm going to uh, go have lab work done and uh, even that's stressful am I going to be it's not very far and I have an appointment so it'll be I'll be in maybe there 10 minutes the question is, uh, am I going to be able to make it without urinating in my pants or uh, on the floor or something like that? That's, uh, there isn't Superman or Superwoman or Supergirl out there, somebody who can, for me, go around the world in reverse and turn back time and... Uh, make me healthy and young that would be nice if you if you can do that please leave a little comment down there
I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Oh, no, two things. Don't touch the mouse. I forget my blue model. I mean, well, have a blue cell phone. Been working great. Uh, I'm, I'm taking my medicines at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So I set the alarm on the uh, thing last night for a 6 a.m. and a 6 p.m. Uh, alarm. And my clock, or the, uh, this morning, I, the, the alarm went off and I thought, is it 6 a.m. already? And I took my medicine. And uh, the cell phone was off by an hour. And uh, I think it had something to do with I went in and, you know, I went and changed it and then it, it still went back to being off an hour. And I, I just removed those two alarms now, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So I think there's a bug in the software or hardware or something or other. So you might be aware of that if you're, okay, well, let's just do, where, let's find out here, hang on. Did I buy this from, let's see, orders? Oh, I'm getting these sandals today. I left my sandals at uh, in the emergency room when I was transferred up and, got, and uh, I don't have any, my feet won't fit in regular shoes because they're both swollen. They haven't fit in for years. And, and all I had was one pair of sandals, so I got this coming today. So I went to the doctor's office in socks yesterday day and uh, uh, what did I come over here oh orders let's see okay yeah okay so this the phone I have is the blue the IVO X 6.0 so if you have it you may want to check you know, set an alarm for 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Or maybe you would do it at some other, you know. And because uh, you might, you know, it might mess you up. It might be important sometime. It, so uh, check that out and uh, don't be late. Be great. Um, what was the other thing? Oh. It sounds, my videos have sounded, the audio has sounded okay to me, but uh, several of you, you can even see here, uh, Smiler, really can't hear you speak, Jim. Uh, Richard, the mic is not loud enough, can hardly hear you, my volume is all the way up. So I have did away with the headphone set, and I'm using the Blue Yeti. So hopefully the uh, audio problem now is... Corrected. Now, thank you very much for watching.